Welcome back, Rankers. I want to talk to you today about soft 404s. Now, I know, <laughs> server codes, right? Well, look, it's going to be exciting. You're going to love it. And it could increase your rankings incredibly. We've got experience of this. Uh, about 48 hours ago, Google Webmaster Central blog has said that they're now reporting soft 404s. So in your Webmaster tools, when you go into that now, you will have a section that where it... Uh, gives you your crawl errors under diagnostics. You'll see a section, if you've got them, uh, called soft 404s. Now, the reason that Google is doing this, what's a soft 404? Well, a 404 error code or server response code is basically saying when you request a page, the server says 404, that page doesn't exist if it's an erroneous page. Now, what a lot of sites do and what a lot of web developers do, instead of returning a 404 and saying, sorry, that page doesn't exist, they say, well, it doesn't exist, but look here, have, have the home page. And they just deliver you the home page. And as far as the browser goes, and also the bots in this case, everything's okay. Problem with that is, is that if you get people typing in a lot of erroneous URLs and they always end up at the front page, that means your front page is available at a bunch of different URLs. So it's confusing for the user, and it is confusing for the bots, because the bots can find uh, pages getting, saying the server saying the pages are actually there when they're not, and then you just get duplicate content after duplicate content. So it's a confusing thing, which is why Google has brought in this soft 404, meaning that the server says, yeah, it's okay, but they're actually not serving up the page that the user requested. The way that you can check this on your own site, and I suggest that you do, is here's one that I prepared earlier. Uh, David Meerman Scott, many of you may know him, is a client of ours. He is the, uh, not, probably the best speaker, public speaker I've seen. But uh, he's also the author of uh, The New Rules of Marketing, PR, and Worldwide Rave. But, um, and a good bloke. And into uh, Apollo astronaut stuff. So what I've done here is, is that I've just put in a, a gobbledygook web address, and I'm at seoconsultants.com forward slash tools, and you'll find the header checker there. And then I'm just going to say, check the server headers. And it's saying, you know what, 404, not found. Yay, that's what we want. Now, before we took over uh, the SEO of David's site, it wasn't returning a correct 404. In fact, it was doing just what I told you uh, a lot of web developers do or hosting companies will do. And that is, you put in the incorrect URL, and it'd say, well, no, I haven't got that page, but here, here's the front page. Happy now? Um, and he was ranking probably in the, in the 20s for marketing speaker, and then not long after we made that change, he went to number one for the phrase marketing speaker globally. So that's pretty good. And the, I, mean, I mean, you know, it wasn't just that, of course, but that change uh, was worth about 20 spots in the rankings to him in a, in a highly competitive environment. So go and check your 404s because uh, if Google's telling you to do it, you should be doing it. And just quickly, I'm not going to bang on about this because, you know, I know a lot of people get upset. But this thing, uh, game changer. On the weekend, my two-year-old grandson was playing with it, browsing menus and playing games. He's still in nappies. That's diapers for uh, our American viewers. So if a two-year-old can use that as it's intended, that's uh, pretty amazing. And just finally today, it is Cyber Security Awareness Week, okay? This is a serious matter. A lot of people, you know, Google's been in the news worldwide because uh, they were hooking up to a lot of unsecured Wi-Fi networks, uh, which is a major issue with their little cars that go around the streets. And you may have heard about that in the news. And, uh, of course, uh, but it is Cyber Security Week, so everyone should be aware of what we, uh, what we should be doing. So here's a few words from our communications minister on, uh, on cyber security. And knowing what your children are doing online. There's a staggering number of Australians being in having their computers infected at the moment. Up to 20,000 can regularly be getting infected by these uh, spams or scams that come through the portal. 
Okay, so there you are, you heard it. Uh, Cybersecurity Week, watch out for the spam scams coming through your portals. And on that note, we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.